Hello and welcome to Fair Isaac Tech Talk where we discuss ideas and technology for decision management. I'm Darcy Sullivan of Fair Isaac and today we're talking about probably the best known part of Fair Isaac's business, the FICO score, but we're really looking at it from a consumer's point of view, not from a bank's point of view. And we're talking to Sean Dellinger, he's the Vice President of our Consumer Solutions Division and we're asking him, can knowing your score help you get through the current credit crunch? So, Sean, what can people do to understand their financial picture and improve it, and what part is Fair Isaac playing in that? Uh, well, what people can actually do is take a look at their complete financial picture. While we have the expertise to help them with their credit, we think it's really important that people take a look at all their financial picture. You can do everything from making sure you're getting the best best rates on your on your phone services and cable services and insurance rates and things like that uh, so certainly we encourage people to look broadly but in addition we also think that specifically around credit that we can help folks to better manage that FICO score which is one of the three major components that lenders are going to look at when they're um, providing you uh, credit uh, during the credit crunch and the three things that they're going to consider are going to be the collateral that you can put down your capacity to repay the debt that you're that you're looking to take on and then your credit score and with the credit score particularly the FICO score that is used by over 90 percent of lenders out there we believe um, through our MyFICO services and our educational materials that we can really help consumers uh, shore that major component up how clearly do people today understand their FICO score? Uh, certainly a lot more in this credit crunch environment. I mean, you can't turn on the news these days without actually seeing um, someone talking about the, the credit crisis that's going on. Uh, that being said, the, the factual information that people know about their FICO scores tend not to be um, terribly good. Uh, so, for, for example, over 70% of people in a recent uh, Consumer Federation of America and Washington Mutual study saw, uh, believed that income was a major component of their credit score. That's actually not the case. Another 40% of those consumers actually believed that their age um, played a role in their credit score. That's also not true. All right, if it's important for me to know about the FICO score, can you give me the shorthand version? What is the FICO score? What, what are we talking about? Well, first of all, it's a score that's between 300 and 850. It's used by financial institutions to judge your risk in repaying the loan that you've got. Um, that FICO score, as I mentioned earlier, is used by over 90% of the financial institutions that are out there. So it's, it's a very relevant component that everyone should be actively managing. What is in the FICO score? Not, you know, don't give me all the details, but just generally. What, what kind of information goes into your FICO score? Uh, generally what's in the FICO score is credit bureau file data that is out there from the three major credit bureaus, uh, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And what we actually will do with the FICO score algorithm that we have is go and take a look at all the data that's in that file from uh, every piece of credit that you have through some public records um, and all of the objective information that we can get a hold of to determine your risk. So for example, one of the primary components of the FICO score is bill payment history. So if you have paid your bills on time, um, you're more likely to have a good FICO score. Sean, there are a lot of credit repair services out there that will offer to fix your credit report, fix your score. Is this, are they legitimate? Uh, can they actually do that? Can they actually make your score better? Uh, most credit repair, uh, all credit repair um, services uh, that I'm familiar with anyhow are not legitimate. These are things that um, are either using illegal means um, or um, an improper score to try and help people think that they've improved their credit. The reality is you need to have a healthy set of credit habits over a sustained period of time to actually end up with a good score. Um, and it's important to, to begin doing that now. It's not unlike, uh, not, not unlike uh, staying away from a, a fad diet, but actually changing your, changing your lifestyle to consistently maintain your health. Sean, what can I do to understand my score better, to know more about scoring and, and help improve my financial picture? Well, I think the first thing that every consumer should do is go get your free credit report. I would go to annualcreditreport.com, make sure that you know what's in your credit file, make sure it's right, because your FICO score is based on 
that, that, that credit file. So go get that, make sure that that's right. And that's, everyone gets one of those free every year. Um, and then to, then I would come to myfico.com and I would actually get, get my FICO score and begin to, to manage that across the different dimensions that, we'll, that we can give advice on. Things of, and, and it's common sense stuff, but it's, it's, if, you don't, if you haven't ever managed it before, it, it's new. So, you know, paying your bills on time. Don't hold large balances on your credit cards because if you are holding a, a balance that's close to your limit, you're riskier um, in, in, in the eyes of a, of a credit card company, and, and the data reflects that that is the case. Um, and, and making sure that you're not opening up a whole lot of new lines of credit. How are we getting information about scores to people? Uh, we do it a lot of different ways. Um, We've got a lot of free programs where we offer up things like FICO score booklets through a lot of the nonprofit uh, relationships that we have and through the financial institution relationships that we have so people can learn exactly what is in a FICO score and how it applies to their, their particular situation. We also have uh, myfico.com, which is our direct-to-consumer site where we actually will provide FICO scores and reports for consumers as well as lots of other educational information. We also have a, a, a relatively new program that, that we're pretty excited about that uh, we're currently calling Scores on Statements where consumers can actually log into their financial institution account and what we've done is encourage the financial institutions who already have your FICO score to just make it available to you and making that available to you as well as some, some basic descriptors as to why your specific score is what it is with educational information that, that we have available um, so that consumers can get it for free every month. And we have people like Washington Mutual, a couple of credit unions, and um, the, uh, the Sears folks who, uh, and HSBC folks who are currently using this program with their consumers. And um, in Washington Mutual's case, it's, it's, it's a situation where those particular consumers have let us know and let Washington Mutual know that this is one of the favorite things on the website. It has contributed to a very high customer satisfaction and when you go out and we're pretty proud about that because when you go out and take a look at the surveys that are out there in terms of top online um, banking sites Washington Mutual is number one and we, we take a lot of pride in, in, in being a contributing factor to that. Do you have a good credit score Sean? I do. My Washington Mutual free credit score that I get every month uh, through that program is over 800. That's today's Fair Isaac Tech Talk. Thanks for joining us. If you are interested in learning more about your FICO score, I do recommend you go to myfico.com. We invite you to comment on this posting, subscribe to our podcast series, and watch more Tech Talk videos at fairisaac.com slash techtalk.